To get started, we're going to look at the asset browser. For this section, we'll be spending most of our time within AutoCAD architecture. Go ahead and get that started. And once that is loaded successfully, we can go ahead and touch on a couple of areas here. Number one, I'm going to be utilizing Vault for this, so I'm going to log into Vault. I'm going to bring up a document for now, and I'm going to be utilizing this small cell of a factory for demonstration purposes. Once that's loaded, I can then go over to my Vault tab and I can do a login from here. I'm going to log into the Vault I've been using for Factory. And once it successfully loads, we'll have some of the additional functionality the Vault provides, such as checking in and also accessing the Vault for assets. The primary focus of this section will be on the Asset Browser. Demonstration purposes, I'm going to go ahead and close my asset browser just to show how you can bring it back up. I find the easiest way to bring things up within AutoCAD is to begin typing typically. This is going to be asset, and it'll come up as fact asset browser. We can run that command, and it'll restore my asset browser. Within the asset browser, you'll see that you have a couple of sections. There are system assets. Those are the assets that come with the installation of factory design utilities. There's user assets, assets that I have used. There's user cloud assets. Those are assets that I have used that exist within the cloud environment. There's vault assets. You can search assets. And finally, you can mark assets as favorites. Why don't we take a look at the vault assets? Within the vault assets, I have a factory assets folder. That's where all of my assets exist. From within there, you can see a number of assets that I have available. There's also some on screen indicators such as this checkbox, which shows that this is a vault asset that's available for use, and open circles, which indicates that it is a vault asset, but has not been downloaded locally yet. Everything within the vault environment gets utilized locally when designing. There's also some on-screen indicators, such as this checkbox, which shows that this is a vault asset that's available for use, and open circles, which indicates that it is a vault asset, but has not been downloaded locally yet. Everything within the vault environment gets utilized locally when designing. You can use typical folder navigation tools, such as the folder up. If I go up two times, it'll take me up to the root of the factory assets. From there, I could look at cloud assets, the user assets, things that I have used, and so on. You can also utilize search from right here. And further, your results can be accessed here. That's a quick introduction to the asset browser. We'll pick back up with the user cloud assets and cloud assets in general.